Hello, my topic is ISDN. Before discussing any topic related with ISDN, first we need to know what is ISDN and what is the full form. The full form of ISDN is Integrated Service Digital Networking. Now, what is this? This is a telephone network which is based on infrastructure that allows the transmission of voice and data simultaneously at a high speed with greater efficiency. And it was first defined in CCITT with, and this is a circuit switch telephone network system, which also provides access to packet switch network. Now, what is the history of ISDN? The process of connecting a home computer to the internet service provider used to take a lot of effort. The usage of modulator and demodulator input called the modem was the essential thing to establish a connection. And you were seeing, I think you were uh, see that what is the concept of this as then? This is the digital system. There is a modem, there is exchange of data modem that is, and there is internet service provider and there is internet. As the system has to use the telephone cable through the telephone exchange for using the internet, the usage of telephone for voice call was not permitted. But the introduction of ISDM has resolved this problem, allowing the transmission of both voice and data simultaneously. And this has many advanced features over the traditional PSDN. And what is the full form of PSDN? That is public switch telephone network. And the above figure shows that the digital signal have to be converted into analog and digital signals, analog to digital signals using modems during the whole path. But if the digital information at one end reaches to the other end is the same mode without all these connections. It is this basic idea that led to the development of ISDN. Now, it is a very important thing. What are the services of ISDN? ISDN supports a variety of services, a few of them are listed below, that is voice call, face mail, video text, teletext, electronic mail, that is email, database access, data transmission and voice, connection to internet, electronic fund transfer, image and graphics exchange, document storage and transfer, audio and video conferencing, automatic alarm services to fire station, police and medical. And now, what are the types of ISDN? Basically, there are four types, narrowband, broadband, basic red interface, and primary red interface. Among the type of several interfaces present, some of them contain channels, such as the channels of the VR channels that are used to transmit voice and data simultaneously. The channels or the delta channels are that used for signaling purpose to set for the communication. Now, what is BRI? The full form of BRI is basic red interface. It is simply called ISDN BRI. That this connection uses existing telephone infrastructure. The BRI configuration provides two data on BRI channel at 60 kilo, 64 kilobits per second speed and one control or delta channel at 10 kilobit per second. And this is standard rate. The ISDN BRI interface is commonly used by smaller organization or home users or within a local group limiting a small area. Another is primary rate interface. The primary rate interface or primary rate access, simply called the ISDN PRI connection, is used to enterprises and offices. The PRI configuration is based on T carrier and T1 in the US. Canada, Japan countries consisting of 23 data on VRL channels or one control or delta channels. Now, what is narrowband? Narrowband ISDN, that is narrowband integrated service digital network. These can be understood as a telecommunication that carries voice information in narrowband and frequencies. This is actually an attempt to detail the analog voice information. And this uses 64 kilobits of circuit switching. The broadband integrated service digital network is called BISDN. This integrates the digital network service and provides digital transmission over the ordinary telephone wires. The broadband ISDN has speed, 
in around 2 Mbps to 1 Gbps and the transmission is related to ATM that is asynchronous transfer mode and the broadband ISDN communication is usually made using the fiber optic cables. Now, uh, I have reached to the end of this presentation. Now we need to discuss about and we need to know what are the advantages of ISDN. As the services are digital, there is a least chance for errors. The connection is very much faster. The bandwidth is higher, voice, data, and video. All of these can be sent over a single ISDN line. Now, what is the disadvantages? The disadvantage, it requires specialized digital service and which is very much costlier. Thank you.